first headlines Union Home Minister Amit Shah set to address political rally in Imphal tomorrow. Security beefed up ahead of Union Minister's arrival. BJP candidate T.H. Basant Gumar endorses STD CM's demand, says demand justified. And heavy gunfight reported at different places of Imphal West, no casualty. Hello, welcome to Nordis Window. This is Valentina giving you the latest news updates at this hour. Now the news in detail. Union Home Minister Amit Shah is all set to reach Imphal on Monday afternoon where he is going to address a political rally ahead of the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Manipur is going to polls on the 19th of April in the first phase of Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency and on 26th of April in the second phase for outer Manipur parliamentary constituency. Security arrangement has been beefed up in and around Imphal and especially in the surrounding areas of Hapta Kangjebong. The main avenue, the main venue where Amit Shah will address a large gathering. State Home Department had earlier instructed all police stations to remain alert and conduct search operation in, in Imphal East and Imphal West districts. More security measures have been taken up in and around Palace Compound. Today, too, a team of Imphal East Police led by SPK Meghachandra took stock of security arrangement at the venue. BJP candidate T.H. Basant Kumar of uh, the, up the upcoming Lok Sabha elections endorses the long-standing demand of scheduled tribe demand committee Manipur STDCM for inclusion of Maitai Mitai in the scheduled tribe list of the Indian constitution, asserting that the demand of the STDCM is a rightful and apt one. He said this while interacting with members of STDCM at his quarter at the Baupara as part of the committee's Know Your Candidate campaign today. Basant Kumar assured that he will give all out efforts to fulfill the demand for inclusion of Maitai Mitai in the ST list and it will be his priority if he gets selected as an MP for inner Manipur parliamentary constituency. Stating that the matter needs to be deliberated on strategically as it is a cr crucial policy, he opined that inclusion of Maitai Mitai in the ST list will help in building strong bond among indigenous communities of the state and it will also help in ushering peace and unity, he said. Basant Kumar added that the BJP-led government takes the matter very seriously and will take a possible step to fulfill the demand. <laughs> Marangi Hanasu, I had ideas of ceremony in the politics. I in 2016, eight years, I did a retirement I in six years in a Prasamyanga Tilagana field of work in the Ramyanti, Pamba, Ramyanti issues, Manipurki, Kamai Kandaki, Yelum, Laiba, Thread Laiba, and I am understand all of the highlight <laughs> Yellow me a more than you see, money was 34, 35 different communities uh, exist of an upset. I could aim, vision as a person of my soul, pull up, a pay money for Hara Nona, Amy Nava, Amy Nava, Amana, Amana, respect of Nava, Masila, in addition, 
Pani pravimo, na tej, ki me večina SC demand se pena fulfill to bita vidi, a mu kjer pa si če sem nava, a mu kjer integrated vidiva, Manipur si in najčel in da je vako in kandel v vežen do Manipur se, ama to ena hara in na lejba se pa si na si na coba, step ama pa ga ni, haj se aji personal thazzo. The India Tricolor was hoisted at INA Martyrs Memorial Complex Moirang to mark the 88th anniversary of Flag Hoisting Day of Indian National Army INA today. The event was jointly organized by INA War Museum Kam Library Moirang, Department of Art and Culture Government of Manipur and INA Local Advisory Committee Moirang. Vice Chancellor of Manipur University, Professor N. Lokendra, Commissioner of Art and Culture, Government of Manipur, M. Joy Singh, retired. Lieutenant General L. Nishikanta and retired principal of Moirang College, uh, A. Sarachandra Sharma, were the main guest of the event. A photo exhibition uh, in connection with the event was also held and books containing the biography of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and history of Ajad Hind Fawaz was released on the occasion. Speaking on the occasion, Professor and Lokendra recalled the invaluable contribution made by Netaji in liberating the country from British colonial rule. seriously, British government ยาสนะอันอโนบะคลามิกีบอกซิสเตชั่นตอนเกโอโพดิซิเวเรชิดาปาร์ทสเตตอริบาเอ็กติฟลีสไฟตอริบาบริสเซนเดนอาร์มี
gyan schemes for the gari poor yuva youth anadata farmers and nari women it also targets making india's prosperous fortifying its international relations and promoting the development of the country's heritage among other things the bjp election manifesto promises one nation one election and single electoral rule the manifesto released by the bjp also focuses on bringing forward more lakhpati didis it promises to make electricity bills zero with the pm surya ghar yojana Manipur Fire Service joined the rest of the nation in observing Fire Service Day and launched Fire Service Week observance today commemorating the brave firefighters who lost their lives during a ship explosion at the Mumbai dockyard in 1944 with the Fire Service Day observed every year on April 14 across the nation Commissioner of Home Gyan Prakash Director of Manipur Fire Service L Nabachandra ex Director of Manipur Fire Service N Noreen Senior Finance Officer K H Samson and Managing Director of Raj Medicity Haubijam Rajain were the dignitaries present at the observance Speaking on the occasion Director L Nabachandra informed that the fire service department could save properties worth 1266 crore rupees and saved lives of 8 persons from fire incidents in the financial year 2023-2024 besides the department made around 327 government and private sector buildings including hospitals offices hotels schools industries oil depots lpg bottling plants oil pumps assembly building malls etc install inner fire protective system under the guidelines of national building code and state fire service act and rules by conducting fire audit while fire safety awareness and fire safety drills were organized were over 17364 people were enlightened on fire safety the director said furthermore fire substations were opened at nambol and loitankuno with the assistance of the state home department bringing the total number of fire stations in the state to 19 el number chandra also informed that two senior uh, member fire firemen of uh, manipur fire service department namely ahibam tombishna maitai and motum priya kumar have been selected for dg fs cd and hg's desk and commendation certificate awards for the year in bronze category conferred by the director general of fire service Civil Defence and Home Guard Ministry of Home Affairs Government of Manipur Government of India Kupuji manwe ka pandan di in kumjali se mul samapan ne phuga mari di afri ki tang tara mari da Bombay ki hi phangfam Victoria do khai khanga ba mafam madu da explosive amasu अतई मई चकन पोथब जहाज मूगन मई होगी कन्ब हो फायर सर्विसेस की हूँ तरु की पुलिस लौकी कयाम सोपी सूपर फैन वाणी लेकिन लोन लोन तरपी फाव मैं पुलिस कन्ब हो पीखब फायर सर्विस की मपाई मैं ब्रेक Welcome you all to Unatha School Chennai in Fal East a fully residential school ranked Manipur number 1 in all India school ranking awards 2023-24 by Education World in Co-education boarding school category Academic season for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024 Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9 Hurry up for registration
40 years of trusted diagnostic service, Bavina Diagnostics. Welcome back. Managing Director of RK Fortune Developers Private Limited, RK Ramashore, expressed the uh, need to include a civic class in schools and coaching classes to instill civic sense among the students. He was speaking at the Felicitation Program for NEED 2023, successful students and winners for the second level Maths and Science Olympiad 2024 organized by Edu Truth Learning Solutions Private Limited at Edu Truth Learning Solutions located at Airport Mamang, Konjang Laikai today. Joint Secretary Home Manipuri, Home Manipur, Dr. Mayeng Bangveto, Additional Chief Engineer of Water Resources Department, K. Kiran, Managing Director of uh, Edu Truth Learning Solution Private Limited, Lima Bokpam Mani Mohan, were among those present on the occasion. Speaking further, R. K. Rameshwar said, there is lack of civic sense among the student leading to decline of rule of law in the state emphasizing the need for students to focus on their career with discipline he also underscored the need to include civic class in schools and coaching centers <laughs> A music video album titled Narai Bak Thikre Dako Iman Haksi, based on issues of Manipur produced by NHM Art Studio, was released today at BB Infals TV Studio located at Kwaitil Tokjom Laikai. Corporator of Kaisam Thong Assembly Constituency, Ward No. 12, Potsangbam Premila, and President of Cine Actors Guild, the Kalambam Lokendra, were the main guest of the release function. Speaking on the occasion, Lokendra said, The song released today is quite different and unique from other songs produced earlier in the state. The song will instill the love for the motherland and uh, tell about the situation of the state, he said, loading the lyricist. ซาวเลซีมีตรุษชาญเนี่ยเอาการซิงทาวเอาดาวมีตรุษไข่มุสาเยซีซีเพื่อหุ่นเลยอะมุกันดาเอ่อยิงบอมบ์ดิพาวเ
Search operations and area domination were conducted by security forces in the fringe and vulnerable areas of Hill and Valley districts during the last 24 hours between April 12 and 13, as per a report from Manipur Police Control Room. During the search operations, one CMG with magazine, one 9mm pistol with magazine, one heavy caliber 70mm launcher, two country-made pumpy guns, two HE-36 hand grenades, four IEDs with iron containers, one 70mm launcher round, 52 live ammunition rounds and one Baofeng set Motorola where the charger were recovered from Sajirok in Fal West District, the report said. On the other hand, Movement of uh, 206 vehicles along NH2 with essential items were ensured. Strict security measures were taken up in all vulnerable locations and security convoy was provided in sensitive stretches in order to ensure free and safe movement of the vehicles. A total of 130 checkpoints were installed in different districts of Manipur, both in the hill and the valley and police detained 255 persons in connection with violations in different districts of the state, the report added. Mizoram have launched. Mizoram police have launched a targeted operation to combat the production and dis distribution of illegal locally made liquor in city areas and their surroundings. A total of 3,280 litres of illegal liquor estimated to be worth 16,75,000 rupees were seized and destroyed during the operations carried out for three days at multiple locations, the Mizoram police said. A team of Kuli Khan police station conducted a raid in the Panchoang area uncovering and dismantling two unclaimed liquor factories. These factories contained six bamboo bins of uh, fermented rice capable of producing around 720 litres of liquor, rakzu, with an estimated value of 3,60,000 rupees, while a team of Bong Khan police station raided liquor factories in Tuikurulu, destroying 11 drums of fermented rice totaling 5,500 litres. This quantity of fermented rice can produce approximately 2,200 litres of local metal liquor rakzu, valued at 11 lakh rupees, it said. On the other hand, a team of personnel of Sairang police station conducted inspections for illicit locally made liquor in Funchuang area. During the operation, they discovered and demolished one locally made liquor factory that had three bamboo beans and 20 polythene packages of fermented rice. This amount of fermented rice can produce approximately 360 litres of liquor, valued at 2.15 lakh rupees, it said. The operations aimed at dismantling these unlawful establishments, which pose a serious health risk to consumers and contribute to social issues within communities. It said and also urged the public to report any suspicious activities or locations suspected of being involved in the illegal legal trade. And before we end, let's take a quick look at the headlines once again. Union Home Minister Amit Shah set to address political rally in Imphal tomorrow. Security beefed up ahead of Union Minister's arrival. BJP candidate D.H. Basant Kumar endorses STDCM's demand, says demand justified. And a heavy gunfight reported at different places of Imphal West, no casualty.
and uh, that is all we have for now but for more news updates keep watching not is window